Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Quin It to Win It. My name is Dr. John Quinn from Moriarty Physical Therapy. Today, we're here to talk to you about training in the heat. We're getting ready for fall sports and we have all of our teams out on the field. We've got our football players and they have all their heavy equipment on. We've got our soccer players that are out there on the field trying to get their, their cardio back up. And so they're training in the hottest time of the year. And what are the big considerations you have to worry about? Heat illness. Heat illness we hear all the time, it's in the news. There's always unfortunately one or two athletes that end up passing away from something that's extremely preventable. And that's heat stroke or heat exhaustion. Biggest part is, it sounds so simple, is making sure that your child or your athlete is hydrated properly during practice. This is a lot of communication with you as a parent with your child before they go out and they play, making sure that they have they have water, they have other type of hydration, which can be Gatorade, mixes of juices and water to keep their electrolytes up. If they end up training and they are dehydrated, what'll happen is they run a risk of having what's called heat exhaustion. And this can lead to something that's even worse, which is heat stroke. Signs and symptoms that there is a heat illness that's taking place is they might have dry mouth, might have headaches, when they urinate, you may end up going to the bathroom and it's not clear, it's almost this dark, dark tea color. These are all warning signs that your son or your daughter should know while they're training. If they're seeing this, they need to get off the field and they need to make sure that they're hydrated before coming into play. If they end up suffering from something like heat stroke, it's a medical emergency. This is where their body actually is cooking. So they're not sweating appropriately, they'll get clammy, they start to actually lose consciousness. They might not be able to even answer questions. This is where they have to be brought off the field and they have to be hydrated appropriately. Return to play for someone that suffers from this is by a physician. So again, one of the most important things is, is making sure that your athletes, your son, your daughter, or yourself, if you're one of those weekend warriors that's out playing in this weather, make sure you're keeping your body hydrated. And it will keep you safe, you'll actually perform a lot better, and it will keep you from possibly having something that can be catastrophic or fatal. If you have any more questions in regards to keeping yourself safe out there on the fields during the heat, you can always contact us at Moriarty Physical Therapy and we can go over this with you. This is Dr. John Quinn helping you Quinn it to win it.